ಶಿವ ಹೇ ಶಂಕರ ಹೇ ಪರಮಶಿವ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ಟೆಕ್ನೆ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಆರ್ ಓಮಾ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ಟು ದ ಪರಮಶಿವ ಹೇ ಮೈ ಡಿಯ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ವೇಷನ್ is there any simple way of achieving and that immortality my dear spend ke no paaye na laguna is there any simple way my dear lord oh my dear husband you are ishwara is there any simple way of becoming varanane like you laguna vishnu na is there any simple way of living choiceless in the present with the vishnu tatva is there any way you can stay with the vishnu nama whether you can stay in the absolute present moment in the most simplest way sahasra ka is there any way of simplifying the thousands methods of meditating into one simple method hey lord kindly teach me please ke no pa e na laguna vishnu naam sahasra ka to chant thousand times your name or a vishnu name or to meditate like you nor like a vishnu how is it possible lord is there any simple way lord hey lord is there any shortcut please and then so lord karma shiva and lord shiva shankara explaining to the why Oh my dear wife I want chant thousand names of the Vishnu for my meditation Hey my dear wife Hey my dear wife if you only contemplate if you only meditate Sri Ram 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 my dear why every breath that is coming in every breath that is going out i only say ram 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 ete and 24 hours a day oh my dear why ram ram I am in that present, dissolving that entire heat, Tapa, 
मनोरमे माय माइंड इज इन रामा ओनली ऑल द टाइम 24 फोर अवर्स ए डे सहस्रनाम तत्तुल्य for you to balance your mind and for your perfect balance of your mind and this is equal and a thousand meditation practices of each one of those names of vishnu or erutra instead of meditating in thousand ways and wasting thousand years and just three times and three vrutis of one chitta if you contemplate if you observe sahasra naam tatulya rama naam vara what can be the blessing my dear wife parana ne hey my dear wife hey my dear wife whoever died and the chitta vinnana when it arises last chitta vritti when it is arising maranasanna chuti vinnana when it is arising the last that mind moment when it arises whoever observe and whoever remember shri ram ram tame te whoever contemplates whoever meditates on every step of that inhalation exhalation before it leaves you tame te whoever observe rame rame mano goes into the field of rama that's why before one that hey my dear wife should one remind him in his right ear because left ear becomes weak and should anyone should chant and remind one to observe the breath before the breath leaves and that said he goes to sadgati varanane varanane great narada when this hunter is not knowing what to do when he realized throughout his life he only did sin killed every species in the forest and when his heart is burning with the repentation lamentation hey what to do to wash up my sin 
what to do to wash off my sin and to the hunter there came a narada who taught him hey hunter don't worry you only have to just say this to wash off your sin da every inhalation hey my dear hunter you only have to say ma say ra every exhalation say ma that's all oh dear hunter your job is done ah your sin is the entire evil your entire karma is washed off washed off he went on he went on saying vi raghavam ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದ ಓಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ದಶರಥಾತ್ಮಜ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ in prompto sita patin who is a master observer sati sita the one who observe is called a sita patin the lord of observation the lord of sita rakula anvay ratna deepam there is no kula there is only one kula called nakula that nakula is called ragukula whoever born in that kula everyone born everyone taken birth only to born only to remove the heat only the tapa ratna deepa the jewel of that kula of the nakula of the ragu kula is that rama ಆಚಾನುಬಾಹು ಅರವಿಂದದಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವಿಂಡೊ ಆಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಐ ನೋ ಇಂ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಎನಿ ವ್ಯತಿ ಅಕ್ಷ ತಾಮ ನಿಷಾಚರ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪೆಲ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ರಾಮ ನಿಷಾಚರ ವಿನಾಶಕರ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಾಮ ನಿ 
ಶಾಚರ ವಿನಾಶಕರ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಶ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಈವಿಲ್ ಶ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಈವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಶರತಾತ್ಮಜ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ಸೀತಾಪತಿ ರಘುಕುಲಾನ್ವಯರತ್ನದೀಪ ಆಜಾನುಬಾಹು ಅರವಿಂದ ದಲಯ ದಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ನಿಶಾಚರ ವಿನಾಶಕರ ನಮ should any why be there should be like a seeta full of matured observer and matured level the great king janaka is a fully enlightened master by the time his daughter also is a fully enlightened very few daughters would have a father who are fully enlightened and this girl called Sita, already got fully enlightened and only her father is worried about his daughter who is fully enlightened, who can be the equal and companion for her, who is not interested in her body, but who is interested in her achievement and the one who also attained that stage. and the only two options he realized the only two people living in the world and one is established in samadhi and absolutely with all mind blowing powers of the mind called ravana and the one who is fully enlightened but no samadhi at all not worried about samadhi at all the most simply lived in our humbleness and humility and one is rama and how to bestow his daughter to a rama he wandered and then he was advised by parmashiva he was advised by the narada hey my dear fully enlightened janaka raja janaka raja people are lining up in entire country in india all saints are lining up to the janaka janaka janako rameti janakoti atmeti ram rameti rameti janakoti if at all if you go to janaka then you are enlightened he went on teaching the atma vidya brahma vidya to all the saints his kingdom has become his court has become a, like a ashram people are lining up for the technique of self realization self actualization and that is how the janaka name is eternal in the history of an india not as a father of sita but as a father of the technique of self realization self actualization and he knew so what is it like for the sita and when rama could understand and could only an enlightened person can lift the one who finished all the chitta vrutti rudra vrutti 
Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, Tattva only can lift the bow and that was the testing time that only can prove who is God enlightened. Only an enlightened person can win Sita, no one else. So Janaka ensured and then he threw the test open for one enlightened person to win and he is a fully enlightened daughter and then the test proven only Rama is the enlightened person and he read it to Sita. A husband should be like a Rama, a wife should be like a Sita, a noble couple. Why in India every Navami day? Entire India, Ugadi is not celebrated on the same day in entire India. But whereas a Rama's birthday is celebrated throughout the day, throughout the country. Why is it so? A husband and a wife should have a matured relationship. A marriage is not for fulfilling the desires of the body, a desires of the mind, but a union of a husband, a wife is for absolute eternal happiness, not for sensual entertainment. The entire life of Rama and Sita is only a tragedy. Nowhere you will see any sensual entertainment between, but nowhere you will see anywhere Sita hating Rama or Rama hating Sita. In separation, and there in Vairagya and detachment, there is a love and such a wonderful, beautiful couple and made for each other. But no one would imagine actually their pathway of life. Their life is going to be a practical lesson for every couple who will be leading. A life is full of compromise. A life is full of understanding. In the difficulties of the Rama and his wife is all the time, she is fully aware. And the difficulties of Sita and Rama is fully aware. But they are established in Vairakya completely. Separation, 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 the story of Vairakya is totally of the Rama and Sita. Whether when Rama wanted to leave the kingdom, he did not have a second thought. He would know eventually because the relationship is no more a physical and his wife would be so thrilled to live in the forest, not to live between the walls of the forts. That's why he told his father, hey father, I am more delighted to stay in the forest than to be worried and to have suffering in the kingdom. I am so happy to live with my wife. And we, how many of the couple would think of leaving the luxuries given by their parents completely and would start journey altogether and only in the path of difficulties and becoming an ideal couple. And the day they left those sensual pleasures and the day of difficulties of Vairakya, to know who is Sita, to know, understand who is Rama, the people started understanding the incredible nature of the Rama and incredible nature of the Sita. And the entire Ramayana is all about his impartiality like a Rama. His love is a highly matured way of the love. He is not in ecstasy at all. He has to go through proper channel. He has to go in a dharmic way of defeating the Ravana. Even after conquering the Ravana, when he wants Sita back, and the one who complained about the integrity, about the character of the Sita, then as a king, he never spared. Whoever it is, a stain is a stain. And he wanted his wife to prove 
because he has to prove it to the millions of people in india now how many politicians how many kings would be like that how many husbands would be like that because she is immortalized and is an immortal there is nothing left and the purpose of coming into the life is fulfilled there is no need for sita to any more exist and there is no more any more need for the rama to rule further and the first one who relinquished the life is the sita i because her purpose is served of teaching a big lesson to the entire humanity in india hey my dear wife don't look for any luxuries at all from your husband and look for only difficulties the one who shares the difficulties the one who doesn't have any physical comfort from the husband the one who doesn't have any mental comfort from the husband the one who whose husband doesn't live with her at all and still if you can love your husband and then you are a sita whatever the way she and whatever the desire she asks and if you don't think to why and if you are there to win your wife against any difficulties and if you can put your life to your threat for your wife at any cost irrespective of what your wife is if you don't suspect the character of your wife at all if you don't question the integrity of your wife if you truly love your wife and then you are a rama a rama and sita and an enlightened couple living together the life is full of difficulties life is never a full of luxuries or a happiness only few moments of happiness all a husband and wife would have swimming through swimming through the life is a battling through the life is exactly like a battling of the rama and sita navigation of rama and sita life never think your life with your husband and wife should be a smooth goer it can never happen rama and sita only tell you how difficult the life is going to be and yet how you should be united how you should have understanding how you should have a love even when you are in separation and if you learn these lessons from on a sri rama navami day and your life in full of understanding you can face through the storm any kind of the storms of the life any difficulties of the life you will be a matured parents and when lava and kusha so when Sita left she is a pregnant and she gave rise to the birth and to the lovely children and Ram has not accepted her and she has to rear her children again when she is separated when she thrown out into the forest and she has been teaching her children how great the Rama is all about never never any wife should instigate their children again is their father and should only talk all the greatness of the father should any way father does any any bad thing but as a wife as a mother you should never stain your children minds with any of the unwholesome qualities of your husband and you should only bring absolutely you should bring your children reminding them how great their father is all about you should teach your children your husband is nothing less than a rama a husband should teach their children his wife is nothing less than a sita and in fact we use our children to blame you see your mother is like this your father is like this what a level of maturity the rama and sita exhibit what a level of maturity in our relationship in our marriage we exhibit we are so selfish we don't care though we get married we can't sacrifice anything but the entire story of rama and sita is full of sacrifice rama has a bigger responsibility toward the country that's why sita understands 
the role of her husband and is meant to for bringing enlightenment to the people of india and not to be selfish to spend his time with her at all that's why sita chose all the time to stay away from rama all the time so that rama can dispense his entire time at disposal for the sake of humanity how many wives can think about it let world go at my husband hey my dear husband why are you caring the world you are supposed to care only me how much time you are spending with me doesn't matter how much time you spend with others the modern wife the modern husband in india lost already the power the people are supposed to celebrate this day only to get reminded once in a year how your married relationship should be each one how you should be willing or completely full of sacrifice for each other no one's life can be as difficult as rama and sita's i can tell you i can watch you when their life is having such a strength even today we remember even today you attend their wedding for what you attend that wedding if you don't understand the intricacies of the rama and sita if neither if the wife is not enlightened not working for enlightenment if the husband is not working for enlightenment and that's why you suffer in the life if both are enlightened and swimming through the life life becomes so joyable and so much understanding union is only for enlightenment so rama is fully enlightened his entire story indicates his impartiality he doesn't care whether it is a whether it is a wife his wife whether it is a any one in that kingdom it is the same for him but it is his children or any children in his kingdom it is the same for him that is a story of the rama totally impartial and biased rama rachya he treats entire all the people in his entire kingdom as his own children and his own family that's why he never craved his family at all because he is a totally detached person so also sita can understand completely she never craved for her husband's company all the time not at all she is there only to fulfill her responsibility so sita ram lakshan lakshman bharat shatra gna anjane vibhi सकुटुब सपरिवार सती समेत दैट इज अ फैमिली ऑफ रामा एंड for a bigger family of his entire kingdom who served entire kingdom so this is a family who served entire kingdom all your siblings everyone should be in the service of the nation like rama's family what is rama's family sita ram i you should follow an enlightened people and their brothers also follow elder brother lakshmana bharat whoever born in this land should be like a bharata though he ruled the kingdom when rama left 
but then every day is meditating on rama every day is meditating rama has become a bharata fully enlightened person bharata kshetragna the one who removed the conquered the all the enemies of the mind is called kshetragna the younger brother the youngest of all the brother is kshetragna anjane elder brother got married and both of them are enlightened entire family such a blessing for entire family and entire family gets enlightened entire family becomes a navigator for the entire country how many families are like that how many siblings are like that and so much to learn the concept of a family from the family of a rama Rama is a grihastu but entire life is a sanyasi a life of sanyasi being a grihastu how great it is being a grihastu leading the life like a sanyasi and makes your life eternal be a sanyasi be a bairagi be a viragi and lead your life like a viragi not leaving your family leading the life of a grihastu but live life of a man and then you are your life is joyful and joyful one should get coach like a rama one should get ruler like a rama one should get father like a rama one should get husband like a rama one should get wife like a seeta one should get children like a lava kusha one should get brother like a lakshmana one should get advisor like a vibhishana one should get a disciple like a anchaneya i the life gets sanctified life becomes eternal the life of the country becomes eternal not life of an individual but the life in the country changes then the country is called rama rajya where no one would suffer on any account of anything everyone would enjoy the bliss of eternality holy spirit the bliss of kauhi the bliss of parabrahma paramatma kaivalya and the one who has a wisdom a wisdom of a rama wisdom of a jesus wisdom of a prophet the one who is in search of the truth and the one who gets the truth path of self realization and he is out of loop otherwise he is always in the loop of suffering the festivals of india only remind us in our life day to day life how we should live how we should conduct what should be our goal life goal what should be our life mission the one who is life mission is on the mission of a rama and seeta that's all and that mission will be accomplished and that is the most wonderful happiest family can live forever made for each other